Hey, welcome to another Freight Skills video. And in this video, we're gonna cover the easiest cold call that you'll have to make in your freight broker career. Now, before we get into what that is, I wanna invite you to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Can't go without asking for that. It really helps that algorithm pumping along. It helps get this video out to more freight brokers. And we are in the business of helping as many people as possible. So make sure you do those things so that more people can see this, steer people to this channel because this is the hands down number one freight broker growth channel that you're gonna find on the internet. Hands down, no one can touch what we put out on this channel. Let's get right into what's the easiest cold call you will make as a freight broker. Now, before I get into that, uh, let's talk about where freight brokers typically look for their leads. Unfortunately, a lot of freight brokers make things a lot more difficult on themselves and they don't look at what is right in front of them, right? So a lot of people, they'll go to LinkedIn, they'll go to Google, they'll go to, you know, those, those industry, I think they're called a blue book, producers blue book, something like that. Uh, they'll go to town meetups, they'll go to phone books at this point, right? But the problem is not necessarily a problem, but they're neglecting things that are right in front of their own faces. And when we started the brokers 25 years ago, one of the best places that we looked for leads were sourced right from the people who we were already working with, right? And so that's what I wanna encourage you to do because this phone call that I'm gonna to describe to you right now is the easiest phone call that you're going to make when you try it next week. Hopefully you try it. I don't just make these videos so that you can absorb information and you know get that dopamine hit off of learning. You have to take action on this stuff. This is an action channel. My whole community is based on action. All of my programs are based on action. If you just watch these videos and then you jump over to another freight channel and watch another video, you're not gonna get anywhere, all right? So I wanna challenge you to write down some sources of this lead that I'm gonna talk to you in a second. And I want you to actually apply this phone call when you pick up the phone next week, all right? So here's how it works. When you deliver into a customer's consignee or you pick up at a customer's shipper, sometimes that shipper and that consignee are not related to the customer. In instances like this, what usually happens is maybe the receiver bought the product from the shipper and they're responsible for bringing it to one place. You also could have a wholesaler. In the cases where there's no relation from the shipper and the consignee, right? Because if you're shipping from a company to the same company, obviously this is not going to work. But if you're shipping from two different places, what I want you to do is I want you to call those places and let them know that you have history in that location and that you would like a shot at moving their freight. The phone call sounds like this. If you change the way that I'm saying it, if you change the tonality, if you change the script, it's not gonna work as effectively. You need to deliver this with confidence. How you say this is 90% more important than what you actually say, all right? So pay attention to the inflections of my voice, the way that I deliver it with enthusiasm, and the way that I assume that I'm going to get what I want from the other end of the phone. And it goes like this. When you deliver a load, I want you to wait you can even wait a few hours, but it could be a day, right? So between one and 24 hours from delivering a load into a location, you're gonna call and you're gonna try to talk to the shipping manager or whoever runs the logistics at that location. If you get them on the phone, I want you to be really excited about it. Uh, we're gonna assume that the, this person's name is Lou, right? Let's just say with Lou. Hello, this is Lou. Hey, how are you? This is so-and-so from so-and-so freight. And listen, I just delivered a load into there the other day. You know, I've been in and out of there a few times and I've never helped you with any freight. Do you guys move anything out of your location? They're going to pick up on that enthusiasm. They're gonna probably give you an answer, yes or no, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, we ship some stuff, but what's going on? You know, I, it's nothing, you know, we, we know the facility, we know the products that you guys are taking in and I just wanted to see if I could get a chance at uh, bidding on some loads that you have coming up or if I can, to help get you any comparison quotes and you pause. The pauses are very important. Uh, I could go for days on your tonality of voice and, and the way you deliver things and how that impacts the results that you get when you're making phone calls. But the whole point of this is to sort of corner the person at the receiving location into giving you a shot because sometimes that's what we have to do. Half of the battle as a freight broker is convincing somebody that you're worthy of a shot and it's not unethical it's not like you're trying to dupe somebody 
You have a service, it's a very noisy industry. We have to stand out. So we have to do our best to use the resources that we have to our disposal, which are our personality, our know-how, and our knowledge of the industry to convince somebody to give us a chance. All right, so just one more time, how it works, and I really want you to do this next week, is I want you to call the places that you picked up and the places that you delivered. If you haven't contacted them before, you call the place, you try to get in touch with the shipping manager, you need to get them on the phone for this. When you get them on the phone, you say, hey, I just delivered to you last night, last afternoon, and I noticed that I never helped you guys with any freight. You know, we've been in and out of there a few times. I know the products that you guys take into that location, and I wanna see if you guys do any shipping of your own. They'll say yes or no. If they say yes, then you can make the call to action. The call to action is, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, you know, I, I'd love to get a chance at quoting some jobs that you have coming up, or if you need any comparison quotes, I could get those for you right away. Pause. Let them talk. Sometimes you have to let the person on the other end talk. We can't just constantly pitch our service in our, our brokerage and sell ourselves. And notice in that brief two lines that I mentioned, at no point did I say we offer so-and-so communication. We guarantee the best prices or the best service, right? We're not really selling anything. We're really just asking a quick question. And now I talk a little bit fast when I get these videos because I get excited about topics. But as you practice this type of call, you're gonna get better at it. The response rate is gonna get better. I'm not saying that you're gonna make 10 of these calls next week and you're gonna lock down 10 customers, but it'd be really exciting if you make 10 of these calls and somebody gives you a new quote request. And if that does happen, I want you to please come back to this video, type in the comment section and tell me that it actually worked. Uh, Cause I, I make these videos all the time. Sometimes I get emails and messages that this stuff is working, but I really like to see it in the comment section so that other people know that we know what we're talking about at Freight Skills and on this channel. All right, so if you enjoyed that, if that helps you at all, make sure you like this channel, subscribe to this video, and I'll see you on the next video after you apply what I just told you. All right, I'll see you soon.